Damn. Uh. Hey guys, it's Slack here and I'm at Rapid Fit KC again. I'm about 30-ish days into my transformation and I kind of just want to talk to you guys a little bit about the progression I've made and kind of how I feel um, after working out for so long. Um, definitely and putting workouts into my day every day has made me feel better as a person, um, even with my gaming and just everyday life. Uh, I feel like whenever I'm working out and doing exercise on the days that I am working out, I just feel really good, I feel full of energy, and then I was telling David on the days that I don't work out, I just I just kinda feel bland, like I just don't feel that good, and I'm kinda out of you know energy, and I just don't feel 100%, so I definitely um, you know would recommend putting exercise into your day every day, and then uh, David's gonna talk a little bit about the progression that I've made um, over the last 30 or so days. Okay, so he's put on eight pounds. Eight pounds is a big deal. We're shooting for 20 by the 90 day mark. Um, again, I was overshooting, which is good. Like I, I'd rather try to achieve more than achieve less. So, you know, we're at eight pounds. That's really, really well. If we get to 20 pounds, that'd be great. Um, again, that's what we're trying for. So we're almost halfway there. Uh, big thing is he's put on two inches around his shoulders, two inches around his chest, an inch on his arms, an inch on his legs. And his waist has only went up an eighth of an inch. That means he put on a lot more muscle than he has fat. So he barely put on any fat if he has any. He may even be some of the, the, the circumference on his waist could be due to actually us doing a little more abs and building some of that core. So we're on our way there. We're really, really close. I mean, the truth is if we keep this going, we'll be almost, 20, uh, almost at 20 pounds. And that'll be a huge, huge, huge success. So now we're going to go into a little bit of uh, my upper body workout that I do every Tuesday and Friday. Um, so David's going to kind of show you guys what we're doing, how to properly do it, um, and maybe you guys can incorporate some of this into your guys' daily workouts or, uh, you know, add some tips and pointers that he has for you. So let's get right into it. All right, so what we got is a low incline bench press right here. We're doing three sets. We're not going to do an actual number for reps. We're doing three reps to failure or two reps of failure. So right here, we're gonna use this movement to really grow the latch in the back, work on the muscles down here in the back. Again, we're gonna use the reps three to failure. So the first, rep, the first set, he may get 14. The second set, he may only get 12. Again, we're focusing on exhausting the muscles. As we move through this progression, next week, we're gonna drop down to two reps of failure, and the week after that, one rep to failure. Again, focusing on the volume as well as fatiguing the muscle to it it actually stimulates growth so here we're doing close grip bench this is going to hit the triceps a little bit more still working the chest still hitting the upper body um, but we're going to focus on triceps a little more pressing good compound movement will help grow the triceps so we're looking to grow the arms it's a great movement to add into your chest workout to kind of stimulate the triceps a little bit more all right so this is another basic back movement again we're working on our lats rhomboids rear delts. This is a very big staple in any type of workout that someone wants to grow in size. You see it all the time. Again, the focus is squeezing your shoulder blades back, keeping that chest out, and using those lats to really draw back the barbell. So the reason why we're doing curls this way is because at the very top, you still have the weight creating resistance, and you can focus on making that peak of the bicep a little bigger. I hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of my upper body workout. Um, I know David tried to explain um, the different movements and motions that we do. Um, if you guys have any questions for him or anything that we do um, in our specific works workouts, make sure to put them in the comments below. Um, and if you have any questions about Rapid Fit KC or the gym or uh, Jordan, the guy filming it all, make sure to check it out. Uh, it'll all be in the comments, like I said. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until the next transformation video, I'll see you guys next time.